well. This is this is great. Look at this great analogy we just had. We just walked uphill. Yeah. So we just talked about the uphill battle. Yeah. Kind of ahead of us. We just walked up this hill, and you were talking about uh, the long story that's brought Black America in its disadvantaged position as, as it is today. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, yeah. We, we think back to the Martin Luther King dream speech. Um, and then, of course, our documentary, we want to know what are people's American dreams today. So what, what's your dream, like, to the, if, I mean, if all this were, were fixed, there was more economic equity, like you were saying, like, what would it look like? Well, one thing that would be, that, that I would have a dream of is that the minimum wage would mean, um, without regard to what exactly a wage should be, but it would be a wage where you don't have to raise your kids in poverty and on food stamps. If you're working, which is what we're supposed to do, and you're working 36, 40 hours a week, then you shouldn't have to rely on food stamps to feed your family. That would go a long way towards it. If, if we could recognize the value of early childhood education and what it means in terms of poverty, and recognize that a child growing up in this neighborhood in a neighborhood of poverty, or even worse in this neighborhood, you're gonna hear 30 million words fewer than a child in a more affluent neighborhood mm -hmm. by the time they're three, and what impact that has on vocabulary, which has an impact on reading, which has an impact on your ability to finish school, which has an impact in your life expectancy, your earnings capacity, whether you go to prison or whether you go uh, to college. All of those things, if we can just do those basic things, provide health care across the board so that people don't die 15 years earlier, depending on what zip code they live in. Those types of things, those simple things, if we could do that, we'd be a lot closer. That's my dream, it's just that we stop saying that we are living the American dream and saying how great of a country you are, and that we actually start showing people how great of a country we are across the board. Awesome. Okay.